And we're back. I'm going to type something in the chat room just to make it easier to sync this one up. Um, Super Mario Brothers. Okay, I'm still going to have to manually sync up the other one, but that'll make it easier for this one. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Refreshing. Um, Chanticleer says he's making a rum and coke on the rocks. Are you spying on me, Chanticleer? Because that is exactly what I'm drinking. That's kind of creepy. Do I have a webcam on that I'm not aware of broadcasting everything I do to the Truman Show? That, that That's kind of disturbing. I mean, I know it's just a coincidence, but damn. Very, very good intuition. So yeah, um, I'll play this either until 9 o'clock, or if I'm still playing when 9 o'clock rolls around, then I will continue until I either die or beat the game. For the 10th time. And judging by my luck recently, I'm, uh, I'm pretty optimistic. Hopefully everyone's refreshed and they can, uh, they can hear me again now. Welcome, welcome back everyone. So, trolling, like I was saying, joking isn't trolling, and expressing an opinion that you disagree with isn't trolling. Expressing an opinion that you disagree with in a, uh, in an argumentative way, or in an insulting way, that's trolling. For example, if I say Super Smash Bros. is a stupid game, that's my opinion. I'm expressing my opinion about Super Smash Brothers. Did I type something, something in the chat to sync the YouTube vid? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, Super Mario Brothers is what I typed. Note Mario, Mary Dash O, not Mario. But yeah, if I say Super Smash Brothers is stupid, that's an opinion. If I say you're an idiot for liking Super Smash Brothers, then that's trolling. I hate it when you express an opinion about something. You say, Super Smash Brothers is dumb, which is something that I think. Someone says, yeah, but that's just your opinion, man. Of course it's my opinion. I'm making a, a subjective statement. And it's... Everything I say, everything a person can say that's subjective is an opinion. I mean... Obviously, it's impossible to factually prove that a game's good or bad, but uh, I shouldn't have to add in my opinion to some to a subjective statement because it's obviously someone's opinion. And I mean, that's not trolling either. Simply disliking something that you like is not a direct attack against you. Now, again, if I say anyone who likes Super Smash Brothers is stupid, that's trolling, and that's something that uh, is not tolerated in Duke of the Bunch chat room. Luckily it hasn't been an issue yet. I have some of the coolest chatters in any Ustream, or not Ustream, in any Twitch, or any stream I've ever been to. I mean, all of my chatters are, you know, well, with a couple exceptions. I won't name any, I won't name any names, um, but I'm, I'm I'm, I'm pretty much, you can pretty much know that I'm talking about you. You know who you are. But no. Uh, pretty much everyone who, who comes to my streams are like smart and they are not assholes and I love all of you people. ITA Duke. ITA. I should know what that stands for. I t oh, I totally agree. Yes, uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Reezy1391. I was just talking about you. Not really. I was talking about all my chatters and how how cool and chill they all are. I mean, this wouldn't be fun if 
I had a chat room full of people arguing all the time and who weren't able to use uh, punctuation and capitalization. That wouldn't be a good time. Do I want to go to the item room? I have eight coins. I guess I might as well. Well, why not? Let's see what we get. The Hermit. The Hermit is the one that takes you to the store, which doesn't help me on this level. But I'll hang on to it. I did not know you were a grammar Nazi. I mean, I'm not. I understand that English isn't everyone's first language. Uh, so I, I understand if, uh, if you know, you don't always use punctuation and stuff correctly. But, I mean, some things are just inexcusable. Like using the letter U instead of the word Y-O-U. Why would you do that? Are you really saving yourself that much effort by not typing those two extra letters? I don't get that. And I mean, anyone who excessively uses bad punctuation and bad spelling and, and stuff... I mean, especially if English is your first language. If English is, is your first language, you really have no excuse to, to type like that. But, but uh, yeah, for minor grammar things, you know, whatever. It's not a huge deal. Uh, chocolate milk. I don't want that, actually, because I don't like the charge shot. I know a lot of people disagree, but uh, I would rather have rapid fire than the ability to, to charge up a large shot. Like when people use the number two for the, for the word two, Tia. You can tap the button to not charge. Yeah, but that's that's annoying. I don't like having to tap the button over and over again. I, I, I'll leave it where it is. Damn, slow down. There's not that many enemies on the screen. Dude, I thought it does not matter as long as you can understand people. Yeah, well, some people are so bad you can't understand them. I mean, I mean, there's a level where you can excessively be excessively bad at typing. But I mean, for minor stuff, you know, who cares? You gotta really know how to play with it to make use of the chocolate milk. Yeah, I, I'd rather not mess with any of that stuff. Well, let's see. I can use Hermit and warp to the item shop, but I only have three coins. I might as well. Ooh, ladder. It'd be nice if I could build up enough money to get that, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think it depends on the context. In chats to me, it doesn't matter, but it does in message boards. Yeah, it's not as important in chat rooms, since, you know, there's no self-editing or anything. I mean, once you say something, you know, it's said. But, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know. Just, just don't let it get to a point where where your message is indecipherable. Welcome back, Oxpo. Damn, I was hoping it would be greed. If there was a greed here, I might be able to uh, to get enough coins to get the ladder. Ouch. You cheeky bastard. The world. Display the map. Okay. Uh, yeah. One more room. Why not? Okay, two more rooms. Why not? Okay, three more rooms. Why not? So yeah, besides Bastion, I, I haven't really been playing anything. Uh, I bought um, The Legend of Grimrock last night, but uh, for some reason I was having issues connecting with Steam to download it, and I thought it was a problem with Steam. I was getting pretty steamed, pun totally intended, 
I was getting pretty steamed that it wouldn't connect and let me download it, but uh, it turns out that the problem was on my end. I, uh, I downloaded something that uh, that was interfering with my connection. And uh, I closed that and I downloaded it just fine today. But I haven't had time to, uh, to play uh, porn. Yeah, uh, I downloaded uh, porn that was so good it was blocking my Steam connection. And that's pretty good porn. No, uh, the thing I downloaded was uh, Pure Block, which is like Pure Guardian, but there's not a Windows 7 version of Pure Guardian, so uh, I had to make do with, with uh, the next best thing. Basically, if you are illegally pirating copyrighted materials, it prevents uh, certain IP addresses of companies and stuff from, uh, from detecting it. And apparently, uh, Valve is on the list of IP addresses. Which makes sense, but I would think it would only matter on the port that I was torrenting on. And unless Steam connects on the same port that uTorrent connects on, I don't see why it would block Steam traffic as well. But uh, apparently it was. And by the way, the thing I was pirating is not available for sale anywhere. So, uh, although it is still illegal, I feel morally justified in, uh, in pirating it. As soon as they make it, as soon as it's available to pay for, then I will. It was Game of Thrones. There's no way to watch Game of Thrones without, uh, without paying for a cable subscription, which I don't, and then subscribing to HBO. And I'm not about to pay, what, like, how much does a cable subscription cost? Well, I have cable internet, and that's about $60 a month. And I, I imagine if I added television to it as well, it would be another... God, I don't know, I, I hear about people with, like, $100 cable bills, and I just... That's insane. It clogged all the pipes. I sent too many internets. Apparently, that's the issue. Cool show. Yeah, I haven't actually started watching Game of Thrones yet, but I figured I would, uh, I would build it up so I have, uh, I have the backlog available. Actually, I think Season 1 is available on DVD. I'll have to, uh, look into that. I really wish I had a bomb so I could get that, uh, the special block. But I do not. But yeah, I imagine I'll stop playing Skyrim, and I'll start playing Legend of Grimlock instead. Duke wishes he had a bong. I wouldn't know what to do with it, Chanticleer. Book of Shadows. That doesn't sound good. I think I got this item once before, but I don't remember what it does. Let's find out! Oh yeah, the shield! Okay. That's not bad. Can I just walk into these guys and kill them? No. It protects me from damage, but it doesn't actually deal damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, given the fact that Book of Shadows was the name of that horrible sequel to the, to the Blair Wish Project, I was expecting something of equivalent quality. Man, I hate that. I hate those pills. Welcome to the chat room, Gartholomew68. Even after watching an LP of Legend of Grimrock, I still can't decide how I'd build my team if I had one. Wasn't that flick about rape or something? I never watched it, but I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, the hardest part of any RPG, like Legend of Grimlock, is, uh, is building your party. Because, I mean, not only do you have character creation, but you have, uh, you have to create four characters and make sure that they're balanced well enough to, uh, 
Well, I don't have any bombs, but I can use the tower, which spawns random bombs everywhere. And I might blow open the secret room, but I might also kill myself. Hmm, decision, de decisions, decisions. I'll try it. Okay. That worked out about as well as I thought it would. Don't do it. Sorry. I didn't see your message until after I, after I already decided to, to do it. I probably should have taken the tower into the room with the uh, the X block and tried to blow that up instead. Because it's pretty likely that I would have gotten bombs from it and it would have been easier for me to avoid the bombs and not get killed. Oh well. Hindsight 2020, and other cliches. So I mentioned uh, possibly streaming games on days besides Tuesdays and Thursdays, but just do like a chill stream where I'm not necessarily talking all the time and stuff. And uh, I had another idea four days that I'm not streaming. Um, I'm not sure if anyone would, be, anyone would be interested in this, but there's this website called SyncTube, where you can go and everyone can watch a YouTube video at the same time, and there's a chat room where everyone can chat while the video is playing. And uh, it syncs it up so that everyone, you know, watches the same video at the same time, or the same part of the video at the same time. And I thought it would be kind of cool for me to, uh, to make a chat room and announce it on the Twitter feed and the Facebook and everything and uh, have everyone come and watch some some stuff. Um, I've been watching uh, the the Endurance Run of Persona 4, which, you know, I'm in the middle of that, so I, I imagine nobody would want to, to jump in that. But uh, I've been watching QI on YouTube, which is a great show, and uh, there are a lot of episodes of, uh, of Game Center CX on YouTube. Because a lot of people uh, stream movies and TV shows and stuff in their downtime on uh, on Twitch and on Ustream and stuff, which you know is dangerous from a copyright point of view because you know you, you can get your channel shut down if people really want to complain about it. But if the stuff's already on YouTube and I just create a SyncTube chat room, then I'm not liable for anything and uh, don't have to worry about that. I don't know, it's just a thought. Big deal, make a new channel. And lose all my subscribers? Are you crazy? I already have 64 subscribers. And I've only been streaming on Twitch for like a month. Which, I think is pretty good. I mean, granted, a lot of those subscribers already knew about me from YouTube. Oh, welcome to the chat room, Kermudian. I should get the soul heart later for when I go for the boss. People will subscribe again. You, know, you never know. I know it's kind of late for this, but I think the Book of Shadows refers to a Wiccan book of spells. I remember seeing it once. Yeah, that's possible. It's possible that the Book of Shadows in the Blair Witch Project refers to the same thing. Sorry for my absence lately. No, it's cool, dude. We all have lives. I know not everyone can make it to the stream at... Uh, at the appropriate time. But you know, that's why I put everything up on YouTube. Speaking of subscribers, by the way, if you haven't already done it, and I know I've already asked this, but there are new people in the chat room, so uh, I'll do one more shameless plug. Everyone, please, please, please follow me on Twitch, and subscribe to me on YouTube, and Follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook if you haven't already done so. It helps me know who my audience is. Now let me explain. My streams, I try to make accessible to everyone. And I take feedback in lots of different formats. I take feedback on Twitter, I take feedback on Facebook and YouTube, and pretty much any other way you can get a hold of me. Uh, and I welcome everyone's feedback. 
whether it's positive or negative. I know by following me on these services, I know what to improve, what to change to improve, and I know what I'm doing that people don't like, so I can stop doing it. I would, but I don't use all that stuff. Everyone uses Facebook. Come on. What are you, what are you trying to pull? Not me. There are seven trillion people on Facebook. How... Ugh. It's 2012. God, chop the milk again? Fuck you. God damn it. <sighs> oh well. At least I got the bra. The bra's pretty good. I think the unique selling point of your LPs is being very polite. Kinda like Tato from Popful Mail. Well, I'm not always polite. But I try to be as nice as possible to everyone. I am known to drop a few F-bombs and a few C-bombs and a few J-bombs. And once I dropped a Q-bomb. Just once though. But you know. I think the Q word is becoming a lot more acceptable in society than it used to be. I mean, they even use the word in The Avengers, and that's a PG-13 movie. I don't know how they got away with that. The times they are a-changing. What's a J-bomb? What's a Q-bomb? I would tell you, but I don't want to get kicked off Twitch. I would recommend UrbanDictionary.com. Well, okay, I, I guess the Q-bomb... They used it in the Avengers, so I guess I could say it here. It's Quim. In the Avengers movie, they called somebody a Quim. Which was really shocking. I guess the MPAA just uh, doesn't know what they're dealing with. Because there's no way they would have given that movie a PG-13 if they knew what Quim means. And I'll say the word in my stream, but I'm not going to define it, so Urban Dictionary for that. Of course, you know, all my international viewers are like... Come on. Please. Because, you know, in England and Australia, they say cunt more often than they say hello. It's like the national, the national profanity there. I guess maybe I should have refreshed the page. I had no idea you were still streaming. Well, that sucks, Oxbo. I, I said refresh the page in a minute. I guess you were AFK at the moment. Circle strafe, circle strafe, circle strafe. Alright, I actually have bombs now. No, I didn't. They cut off before then. Well, blame, uh, blame XSplit, because I definitely said it before I stopped the broadcast. I guess I'll have to, uh, to wait a couple seconds. J-Bomb equals Jack Off? Oh god, no. Something much worse. Much more sinister. The, the J word is so bad, I don't even dare to utter it here. A <laughs> jerk ass. <laughs> no, that's an awesome word. I should start using the word jerk ass more often. Urban Dictionary does not have anything about J bomb. Well, I guess they're just not up to speed over there. I don't like these guys, but I like them even less when they're on fire. At least they're not spewing blood everywhere. Hey, that's my insult. You can't own an insult, man. Like, it belongs to Mother Earth. Actually, isn't it Bender's insult? 
I'm pretty sure Bender used the, the word jerk ass all the time. <sighs> Would you just die, please? Would you please die so I can get what's in that chest? I would appreciate it if you died. Thank you. Alright. Duke, come on, tell me what J-Bomb is. <laughs> uh, there is no J-Bomb, I just made it up. I wanted to sound cool for the internets. Wow. Two bombs instead of one. Not a bad deal. Uh, okay, let's go to the item shop. Of course, I guess technically the J-Bomb would be Jizz. I mean, that's kind of... Kind of profane. I mean, I don't know why. It's just the name of the music that they play in, Star in the cantina bar in Star Wars. Just nothing bad about the word Jizz. Alright, what does this do? Should I get it? Too late, I got it. Oh, okay. That, that increases your curse. So when I get down to half a heart, I'll turn into, uh... The evil devil thing. The Google age, lies are less sacred. When you're a half a heart, kind of a raw deal if you ask me. Yeah, I don't like any, any of the items that require you to be in pain for them to activate. Like the virus and the bird that comes out when you, when you get hit in a room. I mean, I prefer not to get hit as much as possible. So it's always preferable to have an item that works, you know, an, an item that you don't have to run into an enemy for it to activate. The bird is pretty good, but not the virus or razor. Yeah, the bird's okay, it's better than the virus, but I'd still rather have a weapon of some kind. Go to secret room. Oh, yeah, I forgot to check. I'll do that in a sec. Right after I wipe the floor with Larry Jr. That wasn't a whole lot of damage. Of course, I haven't gotten any uh, any damage power-ups yet. So does it do more damage when you hit him in the head? I think it does, but I can't really tell. I think the reason I did so little damage there is because I wasn't actually hitting him in his head. I was hit. I was hitting him in his neck. Razor equals exponential damage increase. Oh, cool. I haven't gotten that one yet. There are quite a few items that I haven't gotten yet in this game. I should have looked at my, uh... Looked at my item list to see how many I'm still missing. It does no extra damage to hit his face. Okay, well, that's good to know. Uh, let's see. I think the secret room... Well, I guess it might be here. I only have four bombs, so I might not find it. On this level. Don't forget the secret room, I swear to god. You people are so... Easily riled up. Wow. Nine cents. I'm sure, bad, sure glad I wasted two bombs on that. Chris? I mean, Josh? I mean, whichever one was your real name. Yeah, nine cents. Chris. Okay. Or Poke? Why would you go by the name Poke? That just sounds like a really rednecky kind of nickname to me. There were secret rooms. Yeah, it could have been Greed. Quick poll, where is everyone in the chat room from? It's what my parents called me. Okay, well. I don't mean to offend you or anything, but it sounds like a, a rednecky nickname. Gartholomew's from California? I have a lot of friends in California. 
I guess there's just a lot of cool people there. Jersey, Florida, Ontario, Netherlands, Malaysia. Wow. Although I'm living in Singapore at the moment. Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, New Hampshire. From Latvia, but I'm in the UK right now. I'm on this earth. Good answer, curmudgeon. I don't know how I got so many international viewers. Of course, I don't know how I got national viewers either. But I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. I like having friends and acquaintances from all over the world. It makes me feel more worldly. Uh, welcome back, Daza W. I think you, I think you were here earlier. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess you just refreshed or something. I probably should have saved my key for the item room, just in case I don't get another one. Oh well. I hate these floating head things, and I hate them even more when they're green. I have Temperance, which uh, which spawns a blood machine, but I don't have enough hearts to uh, enough hearts that I would feel comfortable actually using it. I don't remember how I came upon your YouTube channel. Save it. Yeah, I shall. Oh, hi, Bomber Man. So I've been watching my analytics on YouTube recently. And uh, I realized something disturbing. <clears throat> I have about 2,000 subscribers on YouTube, which isn't bad, even though I've been at this for like five years now. But uh, only of my 2,000 so subscribers, only 100 regularly watch new videos that I post. Five percent. That's uh, that's pretty distressing. I mean, I guess the other 95% oops, shit, are either like spam bots or people who just don't use their YouTube accounts anymore. Sorry, I get busy. See you later, Chanticleer. Thanks for coming. I know how that feels, Duke. Feels pretty bad. All Mr. Boom is, is a bomb that you can use over and over again. And I think I'd rather have the bra. I watched Pugsy over the weekend. Oh god. That's my, uh... That's the one that's the hardest for me to go back and watch. My, uh... <clears throat> that's the second LP I, I ever did. So, uh, my style wasn't really... I, I, I sucked at it. I feel like I've gotten a little better over the years. Not as good as I'd like. Which, you know, that's why I do these streams. I mean, these are good practice. But really, it's my own fault that I don't have a, a larger subscriber base on YouTube. Because if I had if I had done what I'm doing now, if I had stuck to a regular schedule, of, of uploading LP videos, I would probably have ten times the subscribers I have now, because that's how you get uh, that's how you get noticed when you stick to a, a regular update schedule. But I was just too lazy, so that's kind of what I'm trying to do now, but with streaming, which is why I'm doing this whole every Tuesday and Thursday thing. And, uh, I mean, so far, you know, I've gotten a pretty good number of, of subscribers in the relatively brief period of time I've been, I've been doing this. Splatterhouse Finale gave me some sadistic pleasure. Yeah, that, that's another one I'm kind of embarrassed about. Because really, I had, well, when I did the Splatterhouse one, I had recently discovered the ang Angry Video Game Nerd, and I would just kind of imitating his style of, like, freak out not very well. I do think, uh, 
I mean, not to shit on myself entirely. I do think the uh, the Lost Vikings LP is really good. Um, with Morris Reconus and Anaconda Rifle. I just wish the audio quality was better. But, it's something I'll never be able to fix. Because, I mean, it's watchable, I guess. Crap, I still don't have, uh... Still don't have any keys. This is quite disappointing. But yeah, I mean, that's probably my proudest moment. Is the loss of well, the Lost Vikings LP. Alright, here's what I want to do. I'm going to use the Temperance card. I got 400 plus in 6 months, but I have a hard time updating regularly. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to stick to a schedule. I mean, what, what, what always happens to me is I do a bad one, and I get frustrated, and I just kind of taper off. And I mean, I, I've had a couple bad streams, but this time I'm really forcing myself to, uh, to soldier on. Save it for a floor that has hearts scattered everywhere at the end. Yeah, but if I use the temperance card and then blow it up, I might get a uh, I might get a key. And to me, it's more important uh, to get the item room than it is to uh, to try to get an extra heart. So here's what I'll do: I'll use Mr. Boom on this. Plus, if, if I can just get one heart from this, I can go and do the challenge room. Which didn't happen. But if I did the challenge room, then I might have gotten a key from there. Look for the secret room instead. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, it's probably here, I'd say. If I had to guess. Okay. Well, uh, maybe not. Well, if it's not there, then there's really only one other place it could be. And that's... here. No, you can't bomb from mini-boss rooms? Oh, I didn't know that. S.S. Skinner, welcome! What's going on, Sam? The Book of Belial. Another word I don't know how to pronounce. Is this good? Should I keep this? Is it better than the bra? They're saying keep it. I'll trust the chat room. Alright. Hopefully I can get a, uh... Oh, does it give you shadow hearts? Oh, okay. Well, I should have saved that for the boss then. Okay, so here's what I'll do. I will drop it in favor of the bra. Oh shit, I can't get back to the secret room! Damn! Okay. Yeah, Oxbo said uh, shadow hearts, and I thought it... Uh, I thought it gave you shadow hearts. But apparently not. Grab the bomb item to bomb the door. Well, un unfortunately, it's not uh, it's not charged. I'd have to charge it before I could do that. Oh well, at least it's just Chub. It's not like this is the boss I have to worry about anyway. If I had bombs, I could feed them to him. Hold on, Chub. How's life treating you? So I made a little list of topics to talk about because I have the attention span of a fruit fly. Or not the attention span, I have the memory of a fruit fly. Because I sit there at work all day and I'll, I'll think of something to talk about. I'm like, ooh, I should talk about that on the stream tonight. And then, then I'll get home and I'll just totally forget about it. Or I'll, or I'll listen to a podcast and they'll talk about a topic that, you know, interests me. That that I can talk about. But uh, I made a little list and uh, I've actually been through every topic on it so far. I should have rationed my, uh, my talking points more carefully. Let's see, what else is going on in the news? So President Obama came out in favor of uh, gay marriage. Which is pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's a step in the right direction. I don't know if it'll actually have any important effects, you know, policy-wise, but... 
you know, it's something it's something you can be proud of your country for. Something you can be proud of your president for. Kind of weird timing, though. I don't know. I guess it depends on how you look at it. Doing it in an election year like this. I, mean, I one theory is that he does that kind of stuff to mobilize his base, but. I mean, on the other hand, it might turn some centrists, you know, away from him. But then again, if people are... Any, anyone who's offended that Obama is in favor of gay marriage wouldn't have voted for him anyway. Which is how I like to look at it. One of the books dropped Shadow Hearts. Ah, uh, it's all good, Oxbo. It's my own fault. I should have waited for, uh... I should have waited for the boss room anyway. In 15 years, we'll look back at this and wonder why it took us so long. Yeah, I, I hope so. Gay marriage is just another way to fuck this country up and make it even crazier than it already is? I don't understand uh, that opinion. Are you saying gay marriage will fuck the country up, or the arguments against gay marriage will fuck the country up? Because really, a lot of states have already approved gay marriage, and nothing bad's happened in any of those states. Ooh, I can give a heart to get technology. That's not a bad trade, actually. I'll do it. Okay, well, I have uh, full health now, so I can go into the challenge room. And then, with any luck, I can get some keys from the challenge room and unlock a chest. Or unlock the item room, rather. Or unlock the shop. The shop. Gay marriage is against the 14th Amendment. It's like separate but equal, but civil unions aren't equal to marriages. If gay marriage is acceptable, then why isn't nudity in public? I really hope that's some kind of joke or something, because I really don't see how the two are even close to being equivalent. I talked about how I don't really want to get political in these streams, and, uh... I think it was Saya-chan, or somebody. No, no, it was Pinfold Dwarf. Pinfold Dwarf said I shouldn't worry about it because 90% of people watching these streams are uh, are probably liberal anyway, since young people tend to skew that way. But uh, but I don't know. I mean, if you actually have a problem with gay marriage, I don't really know what to say. Shit. Wow, look at my laser tears now. And I didn't get a key. Awesome. Why is the stream talking about gay marriage? Yeah, I was just, uh, I was just trying to think of things in the news, and there's the whole Obama coming out in favor of gay marriage. I mean, it was, it was a pretty big story. Well, it was a pretty big story to me, because it's an issue that I care about. I should not bring it up as a trolley subject? See, I don't understand that. But, whatever. Apparently my internet is shitting itself. Well, that does not sound pleasant. People will start arguing. Well, I was hoping that my, uh, the people who come to my streams are uh, are of the same mind as me on that subject, but uh, apparently not. So okay, I'll shut up about it. I'll just say that uh, that I'm happy about it. Next topic. Boy, how about that local sports team? They sure won quite a few sports ball games recently, huh? In fact, I'd say about, uh, about half the sports teams won their games. Oh, shit. I thought I had a full heart left. <sighs> Damn it. People will literally argue over anything. Do I have any sports I like? Uh, I like ho ice hockey on the NES. And I like, uh... 
Mutant League football, I guess. Even though I don't really understand it. I just ha if I had a half heart left, I should have been uh, I should have been in demon form. Unless the bomb fly does a full heart of damage. Okay, well it's after nine anyway. Um, I guess I'll call it quits. Thanks everyone who made it. Sorry, I got political there at the end. Um, I will not do it in the future. And uh, Pinfeldorf, uh, if you're watching this in the future, then, uh, yeah, apparently not. But, uh, okay. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Sorry, I just showed up. Yeah, sorry, Sam. I, uh, you know, this is unusual for me. I usually don't stream on Wednesdays, but uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll play this again or if I'll play something else, but uh, whatever it is, it'll be, f it'll be fun. Thanks for watching, everyone.